prop. He runs sports in the house. It's Friday, about to give you my NFL picks and the whole nine. Relax your mind. The Heisman, Joe Burrow, okay. Navy over Army, okay. Um, Greek Freak will win tonight. How about Embiid? What was it, 38, 13, and six? But Lamar Jackson, what was it, 42, 21? Incredible, five touchdowns. Uh, Mark Ingram had one rushing, one receiving. Lamar's the man. Passes Vic, but five touchdowns. Lamar Jackson's the MVP, most valuable poet on the MIC. He rhymes sports. And it's hard as the Steelers fans to get props to the Ravens, but you gotta respect that man. The new and improved bad man. Or badder man. Alright? Yeah, he's moonwalking on you cats. NFL, deal with it. <laughs> Yes, sir. Iran Sports in the Hizzy, yo. Props, I mean prayers, serious prayers, go out to former NBA commissioner David Stern. Um, you know, had to have brain surgery, got sick in a New York City restaurant. God bless him. Prayers with him. He took the NBA to real heights. Him, Bird, Magic, and Jordan. But David Stern, these players owe a lot to him. So let's get into it. You know what it is. Week 15 in the NFL. We'll talk about some NBA. I already talked about uh, the Heisman, Joe Burrow. Um, You know, I'd say Jalen Hurts, Justin Fields, Chase Young, all those guys. Jonathan Taylor. You saw about Lamar last night. Ridiculous. The Packers. Can they get it together? Yeah. I don't know if they're going to cover the spread, though. Packers win 26-24. Patriots are going to put it on the Bengals because of all this controversy. We know they were cheating. They're going to win. I don't know if they'll get 30 points, though. They've been struggling offensively, the Patriots. So I'll say the Patriots 27-16 over the Bungles. Who will be drafting Joe Burrow? Um, the Chiefs will beat the Broncos, but Drew Locke has got these boys playing. I don't know if the Chiefs will cover the spread. Let's see. I think Von Miller might come back. We'll see what happens. The Chiefs have got to really get their offense going. Um, when you look at that spread, it means they got to win by 11. I'll say 27-17. Um, the Buccaneers all over the Lions. I think, you know, and I think Jameis is going. Oh, Juju's out. James Conner's back. Um, you know, this whole controversy with Pat Shermer and the Giants, the Jordan Aris Jenkins, uh, whatever, it's foolishness. They need to fire Shermer, and Adam Gay should be fired too. Just for his ability not to be able to use um, Le'Veon Bell and not signing any real offensive linemen to help the team. That's a whole other conversation. But the Buccaneers will win, I say, uh, 26-17. Texans, Titans, I think Derrick Henry does it. The Texans might go reeling. I think Bill O'Brien is a little, to be honest and fair, I think he's a little overrated as a head coach. And I don't think he'll ever get Deshaun Watson to the Super Bowl. Deshaun Watson's going to need a new head coach. You heard it from Ebron Sports. I'm breaking it down for you, keeping it real. I think the Ryan Tannehill and the Titans are on a roll. I think they cover. I think it's 27-23. I think, (laughs) oh man, you know, the Dolphins might actually beat the New York Giants. They might actually do it. But I'm going to go with the Giants. I'm going to say they cover the spread. They win 24-20. Please, Giants, please. The Eagles will take care of the Redskins. And the Redskins are going to play a surprisingly good game. Uh, They barely will cover this spread, though. 27-21. Look for Adrian Peterson to do something. Um, The Panthers, they're they're reeling after their coach being fired, let's be honest. The Seahawks need to bounce back, and I think they will. I think we could have some points in this game. I'll say 30 to 23, Seahawks, Russell Wilson. Um, The Browns, I hope the Cardinals win, just the Browns are a mess. Now, they did release Terrell Suggs, so he can sign with a team. I don't know if... Yeah, I guess he'll be eligible to make the playoff roster. Um, hmm. Can the Cardinals get the W? I just think Cleveland will do enough. 
to win. I'll say 26-22. Um, the Raiders. Raiders are going to win. This is this might. I don't know if this is their last home game in Oakland. They'll beat the Jaguars. Uh, this one might have some points. So it might go back and forth. I'll say 30-23. Raiders cover. The Vikings Chargers. Um, some people could have thought this could have been the Super Bowl, you know, um, for the last four or five years. Uh, but at least the last year or two. And definitely not. But the Vikings look like they're heading in the right direction. I think they take care of the Chargers. I'll say 27, 26, 20. The Falcons, oof, Shanahan, nah. Um, no. Nah. No Calvin Ridley. Julio's playing, but he's banged up. The Niners are going to put it on him. 31 21. 31 20. I covered a spread. Uh, Cowboys should win this game. They should just win the freaking game. 27 24. They survive and win. My Steelers against the Bills. No juju. What are you doing? You pushed it too hard in practice. Are you freaking kidding me? But I just don't think the Bills can score so much in our defense at home. This is our last home game. Then we play the Jets and the Ravens. The Steelers will solidify, hopefully, the playoff spot and get this victory. 24-20. Um, How about that? Saints, Colts, Monday Night Football. Oh, man, it could get bad. I'll say 31-20. The Saints take care of it. Let's talk about the NBA. So tonight, you got the Lakers, number one in the West, going to the Heat. The Heat and Sixers are still undefeated at home. The Sixers beat the Celtics last night. We already talked about Joel B doing hip-hop. Jimmy Butler is ready to play. Props to him and Drogic and Bam Ibayu and... and um, Tyler Hero and just, you know, the whole boys, the whole crew in Miami. This is going to be a good game tonight. I think the Lakers will go down there and get the win. 117-113. You got to like the NBA, the standings. We'll get ready for Christmas. Zion should be back. I don't know if for Christmas, they're not going to rush them. They're going to take their time. Um, you see the Sixers, the Celtics, the Raptors are dropping down, the Pacers. Brooklyn winning without Kyrie. Uh, go figure. And Orlando, you know, they're, they're all pulling ahead. Um, this young Charlotte team, I don't know if you saw. First of all, did you see Ja Moran with the crazy dunk on the Phoenix Suns that night? But Devontae Graham, P.J. Washington, Charlotte is definitely going to push Orlando this season for that last spot. You know, they're really doing it. Um, and the Pistons, if they ever get it together. And, of course, my New York Knicks are the worst team in basketball. Well, the Knicks and the Warriors. And the West, man, the way the West was won, you know it's the Lakers. You know it's the Clippers. How about the Mavericks? And look at the Lakers. Oh, my gosh. Woo! LaBreezy. And can we talk about Luka averaging basically 39-9? and nine? Ridiculous. And, you know, the Blazers are going to make a push soon. Um, you see the standings, Rockets 4. Look at that, man. The De who, who would have thought? The Denver Nuggets, they should be doing better. Same with Utah, uh, especially when you look at the standings. Um, you know, these teams are... I thought they'd be doing a little bit better. Um, well, it's nice to see Sacramento. Playoffs ended today. They'd be in there. Them in Phoenix. But here comes, you know, Oklahoma... Timberwolves, the Blazers. you got to believe the Blazers. I don't know what the Spurs are going to do. But, wow, look at the Warriors. Oof, Draymond Green can't do it, huh? So, and even with the Knicks beating them another night. It's going to be a good sports weekend. Um, I would definitely say get ready for the Heisman. You know, you'll start to hear all the pre, you know, the draft talk. I'll be getting into that soon. But, yeah, I mean, you're going to see the first couple of picks. Joe Burrow, Chase Young, if Tua comes out. Um, you know, let's see what happens with Jerry Judy and just all these different guys. The D-tackle. Um, 
guy from Georgia, the corner. I mean, there, there's some good players. Um, it's going to be a good NFL and NBA draft. Eram Sports, have a great sports weekend. Follow me on IG, Eram Sports, Twitter, at Eram Sports. You see it right there, Equal Places, you know, and um, oh, my poor Knicks. Let's go, RJ Barrett, get it together. And um, that's about it, man. You know, have a great sports weekend, some good NBA games tonight, and Lakers Heat should be a lot of fun. A lot, a lot, a lot of fun. All right. And um, this might be the highest vote since Desmond Howard for the Heisman with Joe Burrow. He deserves it. I'm out. Peace.